Hello and welcome to Taste of Success. I'm Eleanor and today we're we'll making a Union Jack Battenberg cake. It's a very topical choice. Um, if you want to follow the method and the ingredients, quantities and um, temperature and times, then go onto our blog at www.tasteofsuccess.co.uk slash blog. Um, we're going to be using a Madeira cake for this, as it's much better to be able to sculpt than, it, than a normal Victoria sponge cake recipe. So these are the ingredients that you'll need for the cake. Um, you've got the flour, self-raising flour, and um, this is ground almonds. Eggs, sugar and butter, and some almond extract here. I've also got two tins, which I've greased and lined, and the oven is already preheating. Okay, then what you need to do is you treat it like any normal cake. You will cream the butter and the sugar together, add the eggs and the extract, then add the dry ingredients, then you'll separate it into two batches and colour them di differently. So you have a red batch and you have a blue batch, and then you put the red batch in one loaf tin and the blue in the other. Okay, so um, the mixture's been put together and we've got a red tin and we have a blue tin, and these will now both go into the oven. I've tried to make them as flat on the top as possible so they come out quite equal. So they'll both go into the oven for about 40 minutes and just to test them after that time, just put your finger on them and see if they bounce back or you can put a sharp sort of skewer in there to see whether it comes out clean. Okay, in they go. We're on to the stage of sculpting the Union Jack Battenberg cake. So as you can see, I've already done three sides for you of the cutting of the cake. This is quite tricky, this bit. Um, I've got a ruler, a very sharp, sharp serrated knife, and lots of cocktail sticks everywhere. Um, what I've done, as you can see, swivel it round for you. So you can see we've got the three sides sorted here. So we've got the, um, the blue, three corners and the cross is just about being formed. I've just got to do this last corner. So um, you can see how I've done it so far. So we've got a two centimetre cross on either side. So we've already got that measured there with the cocktail sticks. And it's two, two centimetres down as well. So I'm just gonna measure that and pop a cocktail stick. It's a little bit fiddly, um, but once you've got it, then you're in a good position. So I'm just going to cut down. I can see I've cut down two centimetres now, so I'll swivel around the cake to do the side insertion as well. So I'm starting one side and then following the cocktail sticks all the way through. Very carefully. So the bit of cake should come out clean. Just like that. What I've done here, I've already put cocktail sticks in, which is, I've actually given myself three centimetres there so to give myself a bit of room for error. And then I'll just cut along the outside of the cocktail sticks just to give myself even more room. Now, going through, you've got to make sure you don't cut in. It's very easy to cut at, cut at an angle, meaning you've got less at the bottom than you have at the top. And I'm going to dip one side. So I cut down from the right corner to the left and then I swivel it round and I do the same, so we will just corner side. There we go, and then I can just join up the middles because I know that they're going in the right place. There we go. So that will then fit in there. As you can see, it's a little bit big, so now this is when you get to do some sculpting. So you've got all the cuts in the right places, and then you get to just be very careful, take away some extra cake, and keep carving until it's the right. Final stages of construction of the Union Jack Battenberg cake. Um, I'm using white buttercream, which is different from what you would normally use on a Battenberg cake. You'd usually use apricot jam, but we need to have the white lines in between the blue and the red, because that's an aspect of the, of the flag. So um, I've done three corners, and I'm about to do the last one just to demonstrate to you how to do it. Um, so I've 
just got standard buttercream in here and I'm just going to use a long knife. If you've got a small um, palette knife, that'll work as well. So then I'm going to add, remembering that the corner of the cut, like that, has to cut, go into the corner of the cake. So, there we go, that's one bit. And then we put the buttercream along the top of there. And then we'll add the second bit. So when you put all the buttercream in and you've constructed the inside of the cake, make sure it is square. Don't fall into the trap of thinking, oh, when you put the marzipan on, no one will notice. They will notice. Then at this stage, you get some buttercream and you cover the whole thing, except for either side. So all the long sides, the top, either side and the bottom, cover it with buttercream so we can attach okay, the... So we're at the final stage of um, the construction of the Battenberg cake. I have the cake onto marzipan that I've rolled out, buttercreamed every side and we're about to roll it. So that's how you make a Union Jack Battenberg cake and um, we made it today to celebrate the fact that the UK is still the UK with Scotland in it after the referendum. Um, if you want to know more about the method, um, the temperature, the timing in the oven, then go to our blog page which is www.tasteofsuccess.co.uk slash blog. And remember, if you want any cakes and confectionery for your event, then get in contact at info at Thank you for watching today and we'll see you again soon.